Hi, my name is Mick Fisher and welcome to iApply's tutorial video. iApply is the world's first ever artificial intelligence platform that not only finds, but also applies jobs on your behalf. All you have to do is just register, complete the My Profile section, subscribe to one of the monthly package and then sit back and relax and let iApply do its magic. So in this video, I will show you how to register, how to complete the My Profile section, and how to subscribe to iApply's portal. The first step is to click on the sign up button from the top navigation bar. Then you will see this registration form which you should fill with the required information, like your first and last name, your email address, your contact number. Select your employment status, either you are employed or unemployed and password at the last. So once you click on the register button, it will send an OTP which one time password to your registered email ID and you should look into your inbox and junk folder for the OTP. Like here, we can see that this OTP landed into my junk folder. Similarly, you can check your junk folder and make sure that you click on it is not junk option on the top of the email. So next time all the emails from iApply will come to your inbox. Take the OTP code from here and then insert it into this area. This is the My Profile section, where you will create your profile. So the first step of registering is completed. You check in your inbox, you will receive an email notification saying that your registration is successful. So now it is time to complete your profile. Here we have two options to start with. The first one is upload your resume, and the other one is create your own profile. The difference between both of them is, in Upload Resume the artificial intelligence will automatically fetch the maximum details from your resume and will auto-populate it into the respective areas. And in Create Your Own Profile option, you will have the leverage to create your profile in your way by adding the relevant data. But this video I will show you that you fill this My Profile section with Upload Resume option. And before we do that I want to show you the top navigation bar which show the steps of My Profile section. First one is import your profile, then personal information, experience, education, other details, job preferences, other attachments, review and the last step is consent. So these step means that you have complete your profile step by step. Let's start with upload resume. You can click here anywhere in this box and it will give you option to upload. So you select the resume file which you want to upload and then click on open and then click on continue. Once you click on continue, it will show you the details which artificial intelligence fetched from your resume. In this form, you can see that some of the fields have red star, which means these fields are mandatory and other fields are optional. So we will just fill the mandatory fields. You can select your residing country from this drop down, your nationality, your city, and the gender. And in the last, you will see disability. If you have any disability, you can click on this box and mention your disability in the box below. If you do not have any disability, then no need to click on this box. Then click on Continue. Once you click on Continue, you can see that the Personal Information step on the top has turned green. In this section, you will see that at some places we have mentioned Word Optional, like Summary, Achievement, Certificates, Portfolio, Social Profile, all are optional, which means if you have these information, you can provide, and if you do not have these optional information, then you can still continue. However, in this page, the experience section is mandatory. Also, here on the top, you can see this portal supports English language only. So do not add any information in other language. We will start with the summary as we can see it is missing. Once I clicked on add, I can see these details came to the right side box. This section is for quick preview like if I want to delete or edit the information, I can do it from these buttons. Once you click on edit, you will see the whole data will move back to the left side. So from here, you can either cancel or update the data as required. Once I click on update, the data will move back into the right side box. I can see my experience is already added. And if I try to click on continue, it will give me a message that the country is missing from my experience. So we'll have to edit my experiences and add the missing country fields. Also, 
I will have to make sure that all of the details which were automatically fetched from my resume are correct. Similarly, we will check the achievements if everything is correct. I can see that my education is coming in the achievements, so I will delete it from here. If I click on delete, it will give me a notification that if I really want to delete this or not. So I will click on delete. In the certificates, I can see all of them are showing. And if I want to update any of it, then I will just click on the edit and update the certification. And I can see that the update is missing. So there are two options to add the date. Either I can select it from the calendar or write the date manually and click on update. This portfolio section is optional. If you have it, then you can add your URL here, and if you do not have it, then you can leave this section. In Social Profile, you can add the LinkedIn or Facebook and Introduction Video link. This introduction video is a very interesting part, as you know that the hiring trends are changing, so you should adapt this change. So in order to stand out and increase the chances of landing an interview or getting hired, we recommend you to record an introductory video of yourself, explaining about your experience, skills, and why you should be hired. Then upload this video onto your YouTube and put that link over here. Then click on Continue. Here you can see that the education which I mentioned in my resume is displaying here. If I click on Continue, it will give me a notification that the field of study is missing, which means I have to update this. So I will click on Edit. And once I click, the data will move to the left side and I will make the required changes here like field of study, level of education, country, and the dates. Again, for the dates, you can either select from the calendar or write it manually. Once you click on Update, it will show you the updated information on the right side. We have one more facility. While filling out the My Profile section, if you require any support or face any issues, you can either click on this chat icon and write your issue or on this left side panel you see Need Help box. You can click on Start and you will get the required support from our team. Now we will click on Continue. Here you can add your project details if you have any like project title, project URL, and the project description. Again, these sections are optional. Similarly, if you have any patents details, you can mention here. But the language section is mandatory. And here you can see that the artificial intelligence fetched the language's data from my resume. I will click on Edit to add language proficiency. At the end of this page, you will see additional information, which is also optional. Then click on Continue, and you will come to the Job Preference page. This Job Preference area is an important section. As the eye applies artificial intelligence, algorithm will find and apply jobs for you, based on these preferences. So if you are looking for a job in multiple roles like business develop, sales, or account management, then you can select up to three job titles from this drop-down list. You cannot select more than three job titles. Once you click the drop down, it will give you options for the titles from which you can select. Once you have selected the titles, then click on Add. Next, you have select your job category from the drop down list. Select Job Type, select the industry in which you are looking for a job, and then select the countries. You can either select one or maximum three countries in which you are looking for a job. So I will select USA. UK and Canada. This box asks you that are you authorized to work in the selected countries. We recommend you to select those countries in which you are authorized to work. This is an optional field. You can write the either yes or no, or you can leave it empty. And now click on Add. Here in Skills, you can see that some of the skills were automatically fetched by the artificial intelligence from my resume. And if I want to add more, then I can do it from this drop down. After selecting the skills from the drop down, then I will click on Add. If any skills is duplicated, the system will automatically replace the duplication, and it will give you a notification that one of the skills has already been added before. At the end, we have monthly expected salary, which is optional. If you still want to add this information, that you should mention the salary range from and to, and also select the currency from the drop down. Click on Continue, and you will come to other attachments. So, if you have any other attachments, like cover letter or certification or licenses. You can attach those files here. Then the next part is upload your resume. Here you can see my resume is already there, which I uploaded in the beginning. Then click on continue and you will come to the review page.
Here you will see all of your My Profile information at one page, so you can check all of the details again and make sure that you have not missed out anything or all of the details are correct. If you feel that you have missed something or want to update any information that you can go that particular section and click on Edit. Like here I can see that in my Personal Information section I forgot to attach my image. I will click on Edit and it will bring me to that specific page where I intend to make changes. I will click on the image, attach it, and will click on Continue. Now instead of click Continue to all of the steps, I will easy navigate through the top navigation bar and click on the last green stage. At the last I will review my profile again and will click on Continue. This will bring me to the last step which is Consent Form. The Consent Form means that I am giving my consent and authority to I apply that they can share my personal information. My resume with the recruiters, HR managers, employers or whoever is the hiring authority. So in this consent form you have to agree to all of these three conditions which is consent, terms and condition, and the last one is privacy policy. Once this is done, then click on accept and continue. This will open up the available packages which I apply offers, like basic and standard. In basic the artificial intelligence will only send your resume to hiring authorities and in standard package the artificial intelligence algorithm will apply to real time jobs. Both packages are billed on monthly basis. So once you click on get started it will show you the payment page. Here you can make the payment with your debit or credit card. In case if you do not have a credit or debit card then we have one more option of offline payment. You can select the bank transfer option take our bank account details and transfer the amount directly into our bank account or you can visit your nearby money exchange facility and let them transfer the required amount into our account. So if you select card option and make a payment your account will be activated right away. And if you select the bank transfer option like this, you will get a notification that you will get 7 days to upload the proof of payment receipt in order to get your account activated. Now if you click on Go to Dashboard or even if you log in again to your account, it will bring you this page where you will have to upload the proof of payment receipt. So when you have made the payment then you can attach the receipt here and once attached, it will take 3 to 5 working days to validate your receipt and activate your account. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you still have any further queries then feel free to contact our support at any time.